morning. I'm back home and today is Monday, March 18th. So I have literally been gone for 10 days on this trip. I don't think I have ever taken a 10 day trip before. I think this is my first one. And when I tell y'all, this may have been the best trip it's definitely up in the top three, if not the best. This was the best trip for me in terms of, I just felt so special. I felt like I was a wealthy woman. <laughs> that is the feel I got from North, um, North, from um, Norwegian Cruise Lines. I, I went Norwegian Cruise Lines, I've gone them before, I went one time last year and I didn't like it that much. Um, like I said, probably a million times, Norwegian has changed its, um, Norwegian has changed its structure, its way of um, building their ships. Um, it's just real different. It has a corporate feel. Um, that their spaces, their public spaces are smaller because I think they did that. I think I read somewhere where they did that to make room for the, the actual sleeping rooms, the cabins. They're very large and they're very comfortable and they're very beautiful. And so this is what I've heard. Um, this is what I've read that they did. It's just real different. They don't really have a promenade deck. Uh, they don't have a walking track like most ships do, you know, on the top level. Um, they don't have a business center. It's just real different. And so I didn't really like it. And there's no decor on the ship that says that you're on a cruise, like water, paintings, it's none of that. And so I didn't enjoy it that much. I went with my husband last year. So anyway, we went again this year and we went on the Viva. That's their newest ship since the Prima. I think the Prima is only two years old and now they've built another 52 AB, I-24 West to I-40 toward Nashville, Knoxville. I apologize for that. Now, y'all gonna see on my vlog, you're gonna hear that because Sister Girl is so directionally challenged, I can go around the corner and can't find my way back. That's how directionally challenged, no lie, it's so bad. So, and these GPSs are everything. I can go to any city and get anywhere I wanna go and they have spoiled me to the point I don't even pay attention. I just do what the things say. So it's real, I'm real directionally challenged. So prob, please excuse that noise. So anyway, went on the Viva and this time we did some extra special things like I have cruised some entertainment. Okay, y'all, I was saying I got a long drive. I am, I forgot to say at the beginning of the vlog, I am on my way to pick up my dog. So y'all didn't know this, but I have this cute little toy poodle. We got him um, in December. So I haven't had him that long and we love him to death. But we had to kennel him for this 10 day trip and I was so super nervous about it. The kennel is on a farm in Cottontown, Tennessee. So I'm on my way there to pick him up. His name is Miley. He is adorable, precious. And um, it's an hour away. It's like 55 minutes away. And so I have to do things to entertain myself on this drive. But um, yeah, we got Miley. So my father passed away November 17th. And when I got back home around the 30th of November, I was so sad. Or maybe it was December 1st. I don't know, but I was so sad. I've been wanting a dog anyway, and I started immediately looking online again for a, a dog. And anyway, keep a long story short, we found Miley and got him, picked him up on December 4th, and he has brought both my husband and I and my daughter 
so much joy. My son is not a fan of dogs, but um, he has been an absolute joy. So I cannot wait to pick him up. I'm going to try to record when I pick him up. I don't know how he's going to act. I just don't even have any idea. I was um, so afraid to kill him. I told the lady, I said, you know, we've not had him that very long. He's not, he's a house dog. He's not used to being around people. He's not used to being around other dogs. I don't know what, you, what you're going to get, you know, whatever, whatever. Child, I checked on Miley while we were overseas there. And I said, I just wanted to check. How's Miley doing? That lady texted me back and said, we are loving Miley. He ain't shy. He wild as a buck deer. I said, what? <laughs> oh my God. I can see that in him because he can be that way at home, but I did not expect him to be that way with strangers. She said he wild as a buck deer. I was like, Lord, she said he ain't got a shy bone in his body, so. In one mile, use the right two lanes to exit right two. I-65 North toward Louisville. I don't know what, what I'm gonna get when I pick him up. So I hope I'm able to record it. I will let y'all know. I'm here to pick up my pumpkin. Oh my goodness. Um, try to attack any other dogs or anything. Yeah. So I was humpy sometimes, but he I was what sometimes? Humpy. He wanted to hump some of them every now and then. Oh my gosh! Good. Hi, Pumpkin! You don't even remember, Mama! Oh my god! Come here, Pumpkin! You don't even remember who Mommy is, do you? Could he have forgotten me? No. Is it possible? No. Oh, I know. I'm so happy yeah. that he was happy. We have a little white one that's, well, I would say similar, but she's just a little short fat one. But they played and played. He smells he good. Did you bathe him? Uh, no, I just put a little spritz on him. Oh, did you? Off. Okay. Hi, Miley. Say hi to my YouTube fans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, he's acting weird. He got to get used to me <laughs> all over again. You. Let me settle my He deal. missed you. You think he did. Yeah, I know he did. But hey, <laughs> I would rather laugh than them be like. I know. Uh, Hi, look at that big standard poodle, right? She's a, no, uh, that's she's a, a golden doodle. That's a golden doodle, yeah. Yes, I got her. All I've had are those my whole life. That's all I've had. And when we opened this place, is that a be beagle? It, no, she's a um, it's a Jack Russell. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And we had so many little doodles and poodles, and I was like, they just made me happy. So I was like, I got one, and I will never have nothing but. 
Like, I, I heard that, that one seems really calm. Yeah, she is, and she's uh, she's right at seven months. Okay. But no, she's, wow, uh, she's not like all wild like, and everything. No, she'll bark sometimes, mm -hmm. like if somebody new comes in. But other than that, she's great. I took her to the ball field the other day, and they were like, "How oh, is she so sweet and so <laughs> quiet?" Bye, <Miley>, my <laughs> You ready? You so ready to go, go home? Sleep. I've been running all morning. Has he, has he eaten already today? Yeah. Okay. So he was eating a cup a day or? Yep. Okay. And I, I fed him some through lunch a little bit because uh -huh. when they run, they just exert so much Yeah. Energy. No, so it's I fine. Just ate a little. Yeah. All right. It is 2.50. Okay. Did you guys enjoy? Oh, God, yes. We had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. Makes you not want to come back except for to get your babies. Huh? I said it makes you not want it to come does. back. Except for the, 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 the. I know. I missed him really much. I missed him, but um, I appreciate you writing me back because I was um worried he was off in a corner somewhere not no. eating his food. I promise that was not going on again. <laughs> now, we've had a few that do that, but he didn't. He didn't. Oh, Miley. Mommy missed you. You didn't give me no kiss or nothing. <laughs> now... Can I expect? Hair. Oh, he looks so different. <laughs> well, she just got groomed uh, last Thursday, I think, and mm -hmm. she was big and puffy and pretty. And uh -huh. they get out in that moisture where it rains a little bit. And yeah. Just the moisture in the air. Do I have to sign this? Please. Lolly, come here. Why are you being so quiet? So they go outside here too. Oh, they go outside. Pretty much all day. Oh, they and then a do. lot of times what I do if I have a really good group of dogs, uh -huh. I'll leave the back doors to all the runs and we'll just sit in the middle where we can see everybody and they'll get to play inside and outside. Oh. And it's more fun for us because we get to like hands on and play with them yeah. all the time. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I thank you so much. Well, we thank you. I sure thank you. And we'll definitely be back. Yeah, I said it's fun to have dogs like that that make our job easier. Yeah. Oh, fun. I'm so glad. Like, even when they're shy, yeah. it's not fun because then you feel like they're not having it. You know, they're scared. You know, yeah. Scared. I thought he was going to be scared. No, he, he really turned it on. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> Y'all, my dog don't even look the same. Miley, you okay? You don't even look the same. Like the same dog. He looking out the window like he don't want to go with me. You okay, Punky? Huh? Oh, this is going to be interesting. So we're going to visit my mom right now. And so... I don't know what to expect when we get home because he's acting real different. Like, like I'm taking him away from his home. Like, this ain't your home, boy. This not your home. Look how he's looking at me. This is not your home. He looking like, where are my friends? <laughs> it's okay, Punky. We going home. Oh, y'all. It's not that good. So, anyway, let me finish about the trip. This trip was so great. I had such a good time. And I think it's because it was my birthday. We were able to do some extra stuff that we haven't done in the past, including specialty dining. Went to three specialty dining restaurants. I have never been, I have never done that before in all my cruises prior I've been on I think this was my 11th cruise not with them but just my 11th cruise period and never done specialty dining it was so fabulous such a great experience um what else did I love different I loved our room um I loved that so this was a seven day southern Caribbean cruise went to six different ports plus left from San Juan so you got seven different destinations and I think maybe that was a large part of it. So it, it was just, I just felt so rich. I felt so special. I felt so good about having something to look for. You know, I had something to look forward to every single day. A new destination, um, a new excursion, 
different dining, specialty dining, um, you know, the shows and things that they always have, but being a seven day cruise, I, I you know, I had the luxury of, of saying, you know, today I don't want to get off the ship. I'm just going to rest. And so I spent one day in the bed all day editing, as y'all saw, and came, you know, I ordered room service and oh my God, it was just the cat's meow. I had such this was one of my best trips ever i highly recommend it this was norwegian's viva seven day southern caribbean cruise that went to y'all saw uh, well you will see went to left from san juan went to tortola british columbia saint um saint john antigua went to saint thomas it went to saint lucia it went to barbados missing one I'm missing one but oh my god just fabulous had a fabulous time so I I, I know you're tired of you mean tired of me saying that but this is what I want to tell y'all my birthday was on Tuesday March 12th oh St. Martin that's the one I forgot on my birthday we were docked in St. Martin had such a fabulous time and I um, I mean it was just a fabulous time I we went on a um, a tour that day of st. Martin the tour was great like all of them had been it was really really good well the one in st. Thomas wasn't that great but anyway the tour was great I, you know it was just such a good day everything went along fine I vlogged and you know all the things and y'all I was so anxious to get my birthday vlog well to get my premiere vlog the first one out I was so anxious and I got that out and then I said I'll do the rest when I get home but then my birthday happened and all the special things that happened that evening that I'll tell you about that I got so overly excited and I said I gotta I gotta um drop another my birthday video I just got to drop that vlog just let me drop that one and then I'll be done and so I have been working on that video I mean that um, blog I have been editing it and I'm not gonna be long but suffice it to say some kind of way I deleted all the footage from my birthday every vlog video that I did I accidentally deleted all of them but one and that was one of the vlogs I took at dinner like who cares I was so sick and am still I'm getting I'm getting over it now because that was the 12th this is the 18th it's been almost a week I'm kind of getting over it now but I'm just sick about it y'all because that night so the day was great I mean it was my birthday it was the purpose of the trip and I deleted all the videos. Let me tell you something. Vlogging is not for the weak. It's hard. It's 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 stressful. And it gives me a lot of anxiety um, because I'm new and I'm doing this all on my own. I don't have a teacher. I'm self-taught, you know, from looking at other vlogs and then Google and YouTube, watching video, watching videos on YouTube and stuff. And that's how I'm learning. So I don't know anything and it can be so frustrating to vlog. And so this was a great experience for me. I was just sick. So this is what happened. And like my girlfriend told me when I got back today, she was telling me, to, she said, Sis Michelle, you should never do, this is why you shouldn't do that kind of stuff when you're on vacation and you shouldn't. And I shouldn't have been doing that on vacation. I should have waited till I got back home because I wasn't that focused. I was on vacation and I was trying to hurry up and do it and bad idea. So I lost the footage y'all. So I don't have it. So let me tell you what happened. That evening, what I really wanted y'all to see was that evening we went to 
specialty dining, of course. I chose to go to this French restaurant called Le Bistro. I hope y'all can see me. Let me, maybe I should close this sunroof. I don't know. No, nope, that doesn't matter. Um, so I chose to go to a French restaurant. We've never been to a French restaurant before. So we went there and, um, it, the food was spectacular. I had lamb chops. I think I'll post them. I had lamb chops. My husband had lobster thermidor, and he said that was his best meal on the entire cruise. It was so, so good. My dessert, that chocolate thing that looked like a bullet, was so, so good. And you know I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, but this here, 10 out of 10. It was so, so good. Everything. The food was good. Now, what we didn't know was that they had a dress code at Le Bistro. So my husband, um, he had went downstairs earlier that day. What did he go down there for? I can't remember. He had gone, I cannot remember what he went down there for, but he went down there earlier that day and overheard them telling another guy that there is a dress code that you have to wear pants. Well, my husband didn't bring no pants on the trip. He always brings, my husband is a very, he's a big guy, but he's a very good dresser. And he always brings um, state troopers out here. Um, he always brings you know, a suit, some pants, some jeans at the very least, well, and never wears them. So this trip, he didn't bring no pants at all. So he went and talked to the manager, he told me, and, you know, and told him the dilemma. And then the manager sent him to talk to another manager, which turned out to be the restaurant manager, the person that's over all restaurants on the Norwegian, Viva. And so that, that man, he was a Russian man. His name, I think he's Russian. His name is Nikolai. And that man told my husband, it's no problem. We will make you some pots. And I had a video of my husband telling the story. And now, you know, I got, I, I accidentally deleted it. So I'm just sick about it because he could tell it much better than me. He put, you know, he did the, the whole, um, accent and everything the man told him he would make him some pants y'all saw my husband is not a small person and i was like make you some pants he said it was gonna make some pants so all day the running joke between my, me and my husband was it was gonna be some clown pants they was gonna be this they was gonna be that i said they probably gonna have a tie at the top you know to <laughs> to keep to hold them up it's probably gonna be a drawstring or something we were making jokes about it what these pants is gonna look like but he said he didn't care what they look like he was gonna wear them pants because it's for his wife's birthday to take his wife to the bistro honey so make a long story short when we got back to the room the pants were there the pants were so nice, y'all. I hope I have a picture of them. Tailor-made pants. Navy, very dark navy blue. Nice pants, y'all hear me? Tailor-made. Tailor My husband gets tailor-made clothes. Some of his clothes are tailor-made. They were just as good as that. Nice pants, free of charge. I told my husband, Norwegian, they have a forever customer with me. They went over and above. Not only did they do that, we went on to dinner. Nikolai came to the dinner table. I have a picture of it. I'll post it. Nikolai came to the table and greeted us. Like this man ain't got nothing better else to do. He's over all the restaurants. I think there's 11 on the ship, if I remember right. He came and greeted us at the table, wished me a happy birthday. They brought me out a birthday cake. And I was just beside myself. I can't believe I deleted those videos. I'm so hurt. But anyway, um, it's a forever memory. But I'm not done. I can't remember what we did that night, but I'm sure we did something. And after we got back to the room, my room was decorated, y'all. Them people decorated my room. 
I, I'll post pictures of that. Put Nikolai himself put um, a bottle of champagne, Prosecco, in our room. It was in one of those steel things that they put chilled champagne in. It was in there chilling in our room with two glasses and a card, compliments of Nikolai Lee. I, Nikolai Elak, I think his last name was. I could not believe it. Y'all know I clowned. I could have cried. I could have cried, but I didn't because my husband would have made fun of me. I was so touched by that. And I, I just, I, I can't even explain to you how much it meant to me. It meant the world to me. And um, I will never forget it. You know what I always say? People, they don't got to do nothing for you. Nothing. You hear me? And for him to do that. And then we also found out um, the next day, Nikolai himself brought those pants and delivered them to my husband's room, to our cabin. Yes, he did. And I am forever grateful to God. I am telling you, it's been a rough year. Um, my last birthday or two have not been anything to write home about too much. Um, you know, because my parents have been sick and that's a whole long story within itself. But this birthday, it was so special to me. It was so special to me. I had such a good, good time, y'all. Such a good time. I'm just, I'm just gratefulness. There's so much gratefulness in my heart. I'm going to end the vlog here. And this will end the uh, entire premiere of my first video on YouTube. And I just want to say I was so impressed by Norwegian's attention unto us that I purchased what they call Cruise Next um, credits, which is basically money that you put into a future cruise they had a special where they doubled whatever amount that you put down. And so basically I have a cruise paid for for the year 2025. If the Lord says the same, we will be cruising with them again. What a wonderful, wonderful experience. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I hope that um, if you enjoyed it, that you would consider subscribing to my channel. And again, thank you so, so, so much for your attention.